every one I'm in my garden as you can see it's a really nice day so I thought I'd do the video out here I'm a little tired today I worked a couple days ago in the garden for like 20 minutes which was kind of more than I usually can do and I'm kind of paying for it this week but anyway I wanted to um, go over the 10 early warning signs of Parkinson's disease and I'm getting this from the Parkinson's Foundation. They sent a flyer out and I thought it was uh, interesting. So for those of you that are just diagnosed or have not been diagnosed, this might be useful for you. For those that have been diagnosed, this is kind of like everything that you guys probably know. So I'm going to do five this video and five the next video. The first early warning sign of Parkinson's disease is a tremor. And I'm quoting from the flyer, have you noticed a slight shake or tremor in your finger, thumb, hand, or chin? So this is the symptom that most people know a lot about because that's what they kind of think Parkinson's is all about. So you might have a tremor. Um, the tremor usually starts out real small. It could be just like a pinky tremor like this. Um, it's, it's usually not going to be a dramatic tremor to start out with. But um, some people don't have a tremor. I didn't have a tremor at diagnosis. Those of you that don't have a tremor, it seems to take longer to be diagnosed with Parkinson's just because that's the the dominant like symptom people are used to, even doctors. And I believe 40% of the Parkinson's population does not have a tremor. And although there's tremor in young early onset Parkinson's, a lot of um, early young onset don't exhibit a tremor. I'm gonna change the view a little bit. Number two is small handwriting. And that's called micrographia. And that's something that I did have, although it wasn't really bothersome, so I didn't really think of it as being a symptom. I just thought that, you know, maybe now I don't write as much as I used to, because I, I usually just um, typed on the computer. Uh, when I really noticed it was when I took a course and I noticed that my handwriting was smaller and I couldn't really write the same as I had before. But like I said, it was a symptom that I didn't really take too seriously at first as a sign of anything. Number three is loss of smell. This is another thing that we kind of make excuses for and we don't tend to think of that as a symptom of anything. But I definitely had lost my sense of smell, but there's, there was also like a logical answer to why I didn't smell. I used to um, have a business making natural products and I used a lot of uh, essential oils. And I just assumed that after a while that my nose had just um, gotten used to those smells and, and somehow destroyed the whatever is used um, to smell and that was kind of like what I thought. So even when I went into the neurologist, when he asked that question, I said, I said, well, I still have some, but, but uh, I think I can't smell as well because of the essential oils. Number four is trouble sleeping. I definitely had that problem. I noticed that I used to have really good sleep and then all of a sudden over the past like 10 years I was sleeping real lightly and only for a few hours and then after a while I got something that was very much like restless legs and then it kind of disappeared after two years and then I got something that I call restless body and that it's just like restless legs but it's your whole body. Number five is trouble moving or walking and what they say is do you feel stiff in your body, arms or legs? Have, have others noticed that your arms don't swing 
when you walk. If your feet seem stuck on the floor, you should ask your doctor about Parkinson's. So I definitely had trouble moving or walking. I had one episode again like 10 to 15 years ago where for a brief time period, well maybe it wasn't so brief, it was like a year, I could not get up from the bed easily and lots of things that I now know are Parkinson's. They did test me but they didn't send me to a neurologist. I think because of my age they didn't think about Parkinson's. So I really um, didn't get anything to solve the problem but I reduced the stress level and that seemed to make it disappear. And after that I had um, an episode a couple years later of the restless legs. Just waiting for this train to pass. It's kind of long. But then I had um, real like motor problems. The, for the year before I was diagnosed with Parkinson's and they classified that as weakness before they changed it to Parkinson's. And they um, has tested me on a lot of different things, like they test all of us before they say we have Parkinson's. Okay, so that is the first five signs, or five early warning signs of Parkinson's disease.